So I bet you this video is kind of a little hard for the owner to watch considering this is his his custom guitar that I just stripped and uh, disassembled. But anyways, you know, he'll get it back looking really good. I marked all the wiring so everything's labeled. I know where what's got to go where and how it's got to be. So that's not a big deal. I got a couple more things I need to remove from the body before I start doing any sanding on the body to get the new finish. But that's going to wait until after I get done working with the fretboard. So a few things that I noticed with this that is kind of um, kind of you know bad as far as when I put this thing back together, it's not going to work out very well. One of the things was the uh, thickness of the pickup ring for the two humbuckers that are together. Uh, the screws were too short for the thickness of the pickup ring itself. So when I was unscrewing them, they really didn't feel like they were coming out of anything as far as wood goes. Also, I'm gonna to have to plug up these holes here because he's got, these guys are real close to the edges. This one here is set back a little bit. Uh, kind of looks like he double holed it here and then double drilled here. This one here kind of being too close to the edge probably went at an angle the way it looks and didn't go into the wood so I'm going to have to correct that a little bit and refit the pickup ring on here to make sure that the pickups are not touching edges around the cavity over here. I noticed a lot of like drilled holes inside of the pickup cavities as well. I don't know if there was a change in um, uh, pickups for the neck position because there's two sets of holes here and then there's a hole off to the side. There's a hole in the center over here, there's a hole over there, there's a hole over here. Yeah, and a lot of little holes that really, I don't understand what they're there for or why they're there for. Maybe they were drilled during the assembly. Maybe you used something to mount the top of the wood. I don't know when he put this together. And he did kind of a shitty routing job too as well. So, yeah. But anyways, uh, that will be all hidden when the assembly goes back. Now, one of the things that he did, he used a shitload, a lot of glue in the nut. And I don't know why he did that, but there was a lot of glue inside there. One of the things that I've noticed with this, this, this is a 25 inch scale. So this is more like the Paul Reed Smith style guitar as far as the scale link goes. And, you know, my straight, not straight edge is basically useless for this. Trying to find the radius of this neck. Now, the fretboard radius, not the neck, but the fretboard radius. Um, the only thing I can come close to is a 12. Everything else is showing me gaps. So what I ended up doing is I have one gauge here that is a 16, 20, 14, and 15. So if I go ahead and put this in place, and you know this is rocking back and forth pretty good same 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 so I know it's not this one so this one here is a 725 nine and a half ten and a twelve so if I go ahead and go with the 725 there's kind of a good size gap there the nine same thing nice nice gap in the center 10 now uh, there's still a gap in the center but it's much closer if I go with the 12 12 seems to fit a lot better and I've tried this up and down the neck just to verify what uh, the scale length is but even the 12 is not perfect with the uh, radius of the neck there's still something going on it's, there, I still get a little bit of light coming through and I went through all of the gauges and just to see what's going to fit it the closest. And the only thing I can come up with is the 12. Everything else is just too far away, uh, rocking back and forth. The 12 just seemed to fit a lot better, but not perfect. It doesn't fit it the way it's supposed to fit it. So I don't know if this was CNC'd or if this was done freehanded somehow with a block you know trying to radius it with the block but not a radius block so I'm gonna pluck these frets and you saw in the photos how the front ends look the front ends are up off the edge of the binding over here but up against the wood on the fretboard itself 
And going with the gauge, uh, I can kind of see that as well. So that's got to be fixed. And the only way I'm going to do that is pluck all the frets, re-radius it, the fretboard with the 12 inch radius block, and refret the whole fretboard. So what I'm going to do is pluck out some of these frets. I'm going to end up uh, measuring width and height, uh, cleaning up this shitload of glue that is left in here from plucking the nut. The tuners and everything seem to be pretty good as far as the holes go. They weren't tight tight and they weren't loose really loose loose so that works out really good. Um, it's got a very small truss rod opening over here to adjust a truss rod with a very small hex truss rod That I'm not going to turn because that feels like it might strip, so it may not be metric, it might be a standard. Oh, yeah, it's a standard. All right, so that works out pretty good. So it is a 1 8 truss rod key. in there real good and see how well it turns if it turns pretty good yeah it turns pretty good doesn't turn bad at all okay so then I know that's what I'm going to need for adjusting the neck when I pluck out these frets because I want to give this thing a a forward bow in the middle back bow on the sides so it opens up the gap a little bit where the uh, frets are and as I heat up kind of break the glue down a little bit and it'll be easier to pluck these guys out without having a lot of chip out. So that'll be next. I mean, it's that's really it. And once I get this done with the frets, then I can go, and the frets and the fretboard, then I can go and concentrate on the body. The body is just going to get a uh, wet sanding of 800 grit sandpaper. Smooth out these ends over here where the finish is kind of smeared and pushed and everything else which I showed photos of that as well. Um, this is a polyurethane, so it's not a lacquer. And I could tell just by when I pick at this, it's it's kind of soft here, which really shouldn't be that soft anymore. It should be pretty much like cured, especially if this is dated um, 511 of 05. That's what's written on the back of the headstock. That shouldn't be still soft at all. So, yep getting on to bigger and better things.